you guys welcome to part two of the travel vlog we're in Bern. i'm actually filming this intro after a day of exploring again i did that in zurich i did that in zurich too but actually i forgot my vlog camera in the hotel we got here early and then dropped our bags off and then left to like go explore the city because we got here at like 1 p.m so a little bit later in the day and when i did that i accidentally left my camera in the bag so all of the footage that you guys are going to see is iPhone footage. I'm just praying that it kind of turns out and the quality is okay. It looks fine on the phone, but I feel like sometimes when I import it to Final Cut Pro, things get a little weird. So the clips that you guys are gonna be seeing after this intro are gonna be prior to this intro, but I'm putting this intro first because I just feel like this vlog deserves a little recap. We left Lucerne this morning and took a train to Bern. We, we didn't even leave this morning. We left at like noon. So we left a little later in the day, got here at one, Got to the hotel at 1.30, we're able to check in at 3, and we've been sitting in our hotel room for the past hour, just kind of like hanging out. We've already seen the main attractions of Bern, and I actually Bern's like a really cool city, in my opinion. I kind of like it a little bit better than Zurich, I don't know if that's a hot take. I don't know, I like the, the architecture of like the buildings a little bit more, and I think the views are really pretty. Zurich was cool, but and it was like a very different vibe than burn from what i've seen so far so yeah that's the current update i just wanted to intro this vlog and say welcome back if you haven't seen part one of the travel vlogs and this is the first time you've seen my channel as a whole or if this is the first time you've seen me discussing switzerland i actually have three other videos prior to this one that you should watch before diving into this one but if you don't feel like that then that's fine too welcome to it we're in burn for two days then we're headed to zermatt for the last half of the trip Tomorrow we're actually skiing, so this was the only day that we really had to explore the city of Bern. And then we're literally headed on a day trip tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I've actually skied where we're skiing tomorrow before when I was studying abroad, so I'm very excited to go back and experience it a second time. So anyways, I'm going to stop the intro now before it gets too long. Welcome back, and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Not much to see here. Sorry. Did I just spook you? I don't remember the name of this hotel, but I'll pop it up on the screen. The staff here is really nice and it's a very modern hotel. I think it's actually more of a convention center or it's supposed to be a convention center rather than probably a touristy hotel, but it works. We have the bed here, we have chair over in that corner, a desk here, TV, we have a closet here, mini fridge and a safe here. It's really nice because actually everything in the mini fridge is included in our stay. So we have complimentary waters, sparkling and still. We have complimentary apple juice and then we have complimentary beers. The coffee is all free too. We have little slippers, so that's nice. My only beef with this room that I really do not like is that this is a window to the bathroom. And there's no way to close a the window. There's no curtain to cover the window. There's no glaze that goes over the window so when someone's taking a shower you can literally see straight through and when someone's using the toilet the door's not blocking it but with the door shut you can see the toilet over in that corner too and you can see the mirror there this kind of bothers me i just i don't know i just like when being able to take a shower without having an audience you know but this is the shower situation so you can literally see John out there. Actually, it's way more see-through on the camera. It's a little bit darker in real life, but for some reason the camera is making it look like the window is not darkened at all. And then the toilet's over there, and we have the mirrors. Other than the fact that this is the bathroom situation 
it is a cool hotel and like a cool concept and it's very modern. They gave us complimentary 48 hour travel passes so we can use the public transportation system in Bern. And I don't know if it's like this for every hotel. I kind of think it might be, it's like a touristy thing. So we don't have to pay for the bus or the train or anything and the bus and train run extremely frequently and are very, very convenient to get to. So that is really nice and I really like that. I think that's pretty much it. So this is where we'll be staying for the next two days. I mean, we're not gonna be in the room that much to be honest because we're gonna be out exploring. But when we are in the room, this is the situation. Oh, this lighting is really harsh. Good morning. We're getting ready to go skiing. It's now 7 a.m. We woke up at 6.30, we got the braids in for the helmet, long sleeve, leggings, boots, and we're ready to hit the slopes. I am pretty exhausted this morning. Um, I did not sleep well at all in here because the either the air doesn't work in here or the heat or something. They give you a thermostat, but essentially you can't really control the room temperature, so I was sweating literally all night and I woke up multiple times and was just not comfortable at all. So I need a cappuccino in me ASAP. I also need a croissant. And that's just what I've been having pretty much every single morning here. That's my go-to combo. Coffee and carbs. We love to hear it. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... Good morning, happy Thursday. Oh, this is the first time I think I'm speaking today, kind of. <laughs> My voice sounds wild. Um, I didn't really vlog that much yesterday because we were on the slopes and it's just kind of hard to like vlog or do really anything else other than ski when you're on the mountain, especially out of respect for others. So I got a few clips here and there, but not too many vlog clips yesterday, so I apologize for that. Grindelwald was stunning, amazing, just as perfect as the first time that I went. Um, and this time, I actually did a few runs that they just opened up and took a few gondolas and, uh, what are they called, chairlifts that apparently are new as of like two years ago, so those weren't here last time. That makes me wonder how, like, if people skied all the way to the bottom, mm -hmm. like we did, did they just have no way to get back up if there wasn't a gondola there before? You had no. to, like, take the train all the way to town and then... Anyways, they opened up like a new gondola two years ago and it's this massive gondola with like probably 10 to 20 seats in it and you can ski all the way to the bottom and then ride it back all the way up to the top and you can like do that however many times you want but also connects to a bunch of different other runs and stuff like that so that was amazing. The views were stunning. Like it's one of those places where you can't really capture how beautiful it is because it just looks unreal. Like it doesn't look real, it looks fake in my opinion. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. My calves are very sore and I'm tired today, but that's just what you get when you ski or snowboard or do any of the winter sports. Packing up now and we're leaving in about 10 minutes to head to Zermatt, which we'll be skiing tomorrow again in Zermatt, but today we're just gonna take the time to like explore the town. I don't know what else we're really planning on doing, but not skiing today because I need a day in between. My calves are literally on fire. I woke up this morning to use the bathroom and was like, oh, I am in pain. This is the outfit of the day for the sore outfit, lazy day, whatever you wanna call it. We have the white sweater from Amazon, flare leggings, they're the Splits 59 brand. Then I'm wearing my Ugg boots. I'm wearing my sunglasses featuring the see-through mirror. <laughs> We're getting ready to head to the airport in a little bit. I just wanted to pick up the camera and fill you guys in on what happened yes. the train station. What'd I say? Airport. <laughs> Thanks. I stand corrected. We're headed to the train station. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and fill you guys in on like what happened yesterday, what the plan is for today. I'll vlog way more today because we're not going to be skiing or doing any of that stuff. So I'll actually have the opportunity to pick up the camera. Anything you want to say to the people? No. 
You, you're always a man of few words, except when it comes to correcting me. <laughs> then you'll pipe up. <laughs> do a quick room tour because we honestly clutched the most insane room so this is the bed wardrobe can you quit for two seconds <laughs> literally slam 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 no um, suitcases are here we have the bathroom and all that but literally the best part of this entire room is the view that we managed to clutch that is the Matterhorn from our bed. Are we joking? Not quite sure how we did it, but I'm not mad about it. This is literally crazy. We're staying at the Hotel Alpenblick. You can see the river, all of the views. She's a stunning queen. Love to see it. Freaking out like this, really? Instapic's about to go off. You already know Instapics are gonna happen here, right? Yeah. Yeah, he knows. Maybe when the sun goes down though. It's really freaking bright right now. We got here around 11 o'clock on the train and we've just been walking around. Our check-in time wasn't until 2 and I think it's like 2.30 now. Maybe 3. Might be closer to 3. But we've just been walking around the town. We don't really have any plans for the day because we're not skiing until tomorrow. And honestly, everything's pretty expensive here. Like we tried to see if we could just even go up to the top of the mountain in our clothes and not ski and it's like 70 US dollars each. So like $140 to even go up in the train that we would be taking tomorrow anyways to ski. So we're trying to figure out like a good plan for the rest of the evening. But for now, we're gonna sit back, chill, relax. The train coming here this morning was really, really, really pretty because it was just views of the mountains the entire way. And that in and of itself was just like a cool experience. I feel like the trains in Europe are just way cooler and so much better than the trains in the US. Not only for the views, but just like the comfort, the space, how easy it is to get from town to town. We've had like a 10 out of 10 experience on all of the trains that we've been on so far. It's so bright out here. The sun in Zermatt is like insanely strong. I don't know how people do it. And I'm definitely gonna have to bring sunglasses on the mountain tomorrow. My ski goggles have what is it called, like the UV protection, so that'll be fun when I'm skiing, but I feel like when we're taking a break, getting lunch, drinking, whatever, I'm gonna need some glasses big time. I regretted not bringing them skiing yesterday. <laughs> I literally wore my ski goggles while eating because the sun was so bright. I'm honestly just extremely thankful for this view right now because Like, how lucky are we that we get to have this view of all the views in the hotel? I can't wait to drink my coffee here tomorrow while, like, looking out to the Matterhorn. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm kind of tired, though. I didn't really sleep that well last night. Our hotel room, like, the air, central air, wasn't really working. And so, even though we had it down to 17 degrees Celsius, it was literally so hot in our room. It felt like a sauna. So we tried to sleep with the door open, and... It basically, the door that we had leads to windows and doors of other people. It was like more of like a courtyard situation rather than a view of anything else. It's just a weird hotel overall. And so I was nervous all night because I just can't stop reading thrillers and obviously like everything that's happened in the news and stuff. I literally couldn't sleep last night thinking that the fact that door was open because I thought someone was going to like come through the door slash window and hurt us. 
So I'm kind of tired today. I honestly could use a little shot of espresso right now, but I feel like if I have coffee too late in the afternoon, I'm gonna be up all night. We have to be up pretty early tomorrow to go skiing. I think we're gonna try to do like an 8 a.m. Well, we can get our skis at 8 a.m. So I think we're gonna try to get them as early as possible just so we can soak up skiing all day since we're only doing one day of skiing and literally the map of this mountain and the ski area is massive. It connects to Italy so you can ski the Italian Alps as well as the Swiss Alps. We didn't buy the pass to do that just because I've read reviews and it said that skiing the Italian Alps is like a whole day situation and you have to make sure that you time it correctly or else you can get stuck in Italy and all these things and just to be on the safe side we were like maybe we should just keep Italy off bounds like we don't want to do that so we're gonna just ski the Swiss Alps tomorrow but even that the region is huge I mean we're not gonna be able to do all of it in one day which makes me think that we should have done skiing two or three days but pretty expensive and we wanted to do other things so no regrets but I am very excited to ski tomorrow especially looking at this view look it's a little bit later I'm getting ready for dinner I just put on a little bit more makeup and redid my hair my face is doing the thing from the sun and I'm just feeling a little bit insecure about it so I keep covering with makeup which is probably not good for my skin but it is what it is I'm pretty tired today I think I mentioned that earlier I also think I mentioned earlier that I think it was from obviously not sleeping well but also just on top of that we really haven't had like a home base this whole trip so every day or two we've literally been packing up moving hotels getting reorganized then as soon as you feel like organized and content you have to pack up and move again and it's just been a lot so I think that that's another reason why I feel so tired is just because we've been on the go like this it's definitely not one of those trips that's super relaxing it's not like a beach trip where you go and just like hang out we've been on the go constantly doing things I feel like I haven't had time to like really sit down for myself I'm getting to the point in the trip where I just want to sit down for three to four hours and watch YouTube videos like that is what I want to do and that's so sad because we're literally in Switzerland in the most beautiful place But I'm just so exhausted. So that's kind of where I'm at. There's literally two days left of this trip So I just need to kind of not power through it But just snap myself out of this funk and be like, okay, I need to enjoy my time while we're here Not that I'm not enjoying my time, but I need to Snap out of the I just want to chill mindset because I literally have two days left and then I'm gonna be back in New Jersey and then wishing I was here. So that's the situation. But your girl, your girl is tired and there's not much we can do about that. I have been watching YouTube videos. I was doing that while I was getting ready. That was like my little treat to myself. John ran to the grocery store to get waters for the room. Some of the mini bars have been free on this trip, which has been nice but others we think that you have to pay for them. We're just not really sure, so we haven't really been testing it out, you know? I think we're going to this restaurant that does burgers for dinner, which sounds very American of us, but they have like Swiss burgers and a bunch of other things. I don't know if that's like a specialty in Switzerland. I feel like every place that we've gone has had a restaurant that serves hamburgers or cheeseburgers or Swiss burgers or whatever so let me know in the comments down below if you guys are from switzerland or, or if you're like familiar with the food here if hamburgers are normal or if they just do that for tourists but we're doing it tonight for like a quick easy and expensive chill meal and then we may go to a bar after we may not i'm gonna see how i feel i feel bad because when you're in like ski towns like this apres ski and i think i'm saying that right apres ski and bars and stuff like that are definitely one of the main attractions everyone goes out at night after skiing or gets beverages or just happy hour or whatever and i've been so tired that i like want nothing to do with that we may see if we can do it tonight the only issue is that we have to get up early. like i was mentioning earlier at 8 a.m or before 8 a.m to get the rentals by 8 a.m so we'll see what happens i'll take you guys along with we'll see what we get up to tonight and if i don't see you tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow morning
Bye.